like this center line. Get it up. She won't stop. I've done all the least invasive stuff. Time for restraints. Yeah. All right, Susie. We have to do restraints, but we're gonna do them safely. All right, first you would perform hand hygiene. Then you're going to perform two patient identifiers. Are you Susie? What's your date of birth? Yeah. <clears throat> Apply padded section of the restraint over the wrist. Check to ensure that the restraint will not interfere with any IV tubing. Secure the restraint with the Velcro strap. Pull the unattached strap through the D-ring buckle at the end of the restraint. Tie straps twice, creating a square knot. Slip two fingers under the restraint to prevent tightness and constriction of blood flow. Attach both ends of the restraint under the movable portion of the bed frame by using a half bow knot or a slip knot. Correction, the restraint should be attached to a non-movable portion of the bed frame. That's all. It's tied because I have oh, okay. position of patient and comfort with that. Ensure to position the patient for comfort. Are you comfortable, Susie? I guess so. Remember to verbalize any potential abnormal findings to the physicians. You must be able to release the restraints by pulling on one strap quickly. Please refer to policy for indications of restraint, documentation, monitoring, and ordering criteria. And thank you for always using the least restrictive methods possible and avoiding restraint.